Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to yet another Creation Club video. And this is one of a couple of shorter videos that are looking at the two new alternative armor sets that recently dropped. And in this particular video, we'll be looking at the brand new Ebony Plate Heavy Armor mod, which simply adds an alternative variant of the Ebony Armor set and is based on the Blades Free to Play game. And before we start, I want to say a particular thanks to Stevenson Zilla for coming to my rescue with the base stats for both the steel and ebony sets of armor, as I couldn't get them for myself for reasons I'm not going to talk about. So thank you ever so much, dude. You saved me there. Uh, so first things first, the quest is as always by the ever elusive and some indeed would say entirely mythical Chris Takahashi. And the mod costs the princely sum of 100 credits which is one dollar or roughly around 85 of Her Majesty's finest pennies. Or in layman's terms, it's cheap as chips. And we'll do this the usual way, a brief run through of the quest, we'll have a look at the stats and I'll give my thoughts at the end. So let's crack on. And on downloading the mod, you'll have a miscellaneous quest put into your journal and you'll be met somewhere by the courier who will give you a letter from Tyra Bloodfire, which starts the quest Heart of Crimson. In the letter, Tyra admits to her wrongdoings and wants to atone for her evil deeds, but not wanting to entrust her death to the Jarls or their guards. She wants you to be the judge and executioner. But before she will accept this, you must travel to Windhelm and help a beggar to prove your worth, and only then will she accept your judgement in a trial of combat at the Talos Shrine, west of Windhelm. And there you must kill Tyra Bloodfire, who has seemingly turned into quite a decent human being after such a colourful start to her life. Okay, so now we've got our grubby little paws on this stuff, let's take a look. So, not a bad looking set of armour in my opinion, but let's take a look at the stats and see how they pan out. Now, the stats themselves are, for the ebony plate, uh, armour has an armour rating of 44 and weighs in at 38, as the enchantment increases health by 50 points. The boots have an armour rating of 17, weighing in at 7, has a stamina regen, a 30% faster enchantment. The gauntlets have an armour rating of 17 and again a weight of 7. One-handed attacks do 30% more damage is the enchantment. Your helmet has an armor rating of 22, weighing in at 10, and increases heavy armor skills by 20 points, and gives you a total armor rating of 100. 
Now, one of the first things to say is this is player craftable with the ebony smithing perk, which is great as you can keep upgrading your armor sets as you play through the game. And these are standard enchantments, so if you like them, you can always add them to any new armor you craft. So to put this into perspective, normal ebony armor has the following stats and all the weights are exactly the same, but the armor ratings are your armor, I'm racing 43, your boots, I'm racing 16, your gauntlets I'm a rating of 16 again and your helmet has an arm rating of 21 and giving you a total arm rating of 96 which is four less than the alternative variant. Now I know this doesn't sound much but when you start to factor in multipliers from crafting, perks and enchantments etc those four points can be quite significant. So what do I think of this mod? Well I think the armour set looks decent enough but as with all these Blaze crossover mods I think the textures could be a little better considering it's a paid for mod. But as I said this seems to be quite decent and it does sit well on the female form so all in all I don't think it's bad at all. The quest is very short but fun. The protection is very good though a not a massive gap between this and the vanilla set to be fair. However that does increase as I mentioned before with multipliers. And if we take a look at them side by side, I would have to say, actually, I really do prefer the alternative armor, but that genuinely is a personal preference as I always go for the battered worn in look. So many, many of you will feel differently about that. And another advantage is you'll be able to get hold of ebony armor at a very low level. And I'm not particularly sure if that's good for the game, not to be honest, but anyway, you will be able to. Plus you'll be able to craft new sets as you level up your skills. So if you really like it, it can see you through your whole playthrough if you want. So yeah, I genuinely see the value in this mod. And if I was a heavy armor user, then I'd have no problems buying it 100 credits. Anyway, as I said, these are just my opinions and I just hope I've shown you enough so you can decide whether you want to spend your pennies or not. That being said, I hope you like the video and I'll catch you later. Love you.